All right, let's look at a few more examples. It says the toll to a bridge costs $7. Commuters who use the bridge frequently have the option of purchasing a monthly discount pass for $30. And with the pass, the toll is reduced to $4. For how many bridge crossings per month will the total monthly cost without the pass be the same as the cost with the pass? So here's our question. So our goal here is to find the number of bridge crossings in one month such that the cost with the pass and without the pass are the same, okay? So we're really looking for here the number of bridge crossings, right? So that's the only thing we're looking for. So that's gonna be our variable. We're gonna let x equal the number of bridge crossings um, in one month, right? So let's think about this. Our cost without the pass will be $7 per crossing. So using my variable, that becomes 7x. The cost with the pass is only $4 per crossing, but you have to buy the pass for $30 first, right? So what we get here is 4x plus $30. And we want to know when are they going to be the same. So the same means equals. So we're looking to solve here, when is 7x equal to 4x plus 30? All right, so I'm going to get my variables together. I'm going to bring my 4x to the other side, which gives me 3x equals 30. And I'm going to solve by dividing by 3 and I get x equals 10. So go back to your question. The number of bridge crossings would have to be 10. So 10 um, bridge crossings per month would give us the same cost. So if you are going to travel more than 10, then getting that discount pass would likely be worth it, right? Because if you're traveling across the bridge 10 times, then it doesn't matter if you get the pass or not. It's going to be the same exact cost. Um, but if you travel more than that, what's going to end up happening, and you can do this by testing, right? If I try to plug in like 11 here to see what I get, or 12 or 20, um, if you travel more than that, then your pass is going to be worth it. So if you're someone who has to travel over the bridge twice a day every day, then that discount pass is worth it. If you only go to the bridge occasionally, you know, less than 10 times a month, then it's not going to be worth you getting the pass. So 10 is the amount where they're exactly the same, and more or less than 10 would affect your decision on whether or not to get that pass. Okay, so another example, again, different style here. So I'm trying to just show you a few different styles with your text. It says, your local computer store is having a terrific sale on digital cameras. After a 40% price reduction, so this is after, you purchase a digital camera for $276. What was the camera's price before reduction? So there's my question. So our goal here is to find the original price of the camera, right? So we want to know the price before reduction. So what was the original price before it went on sale? Now I only have one unknown here. So we're going to let X equal um, the original price. All right, now think about what's going on here. Um, when you go shopping, when you have a discount, so that 40% reduction comes off the original price, right? So they take the original price and they take the 40% off the original price. 
So what we see is that you have the original price minus this 40%. And that's gonna equal the new price of 276. Now, when we have percentages, it's never a percent by itself, very, very rarely here. Um, should a percent be by itself. So when you're multiplying by a percent, either you're reducing a price or you're increasing by a percent, um, or you're just finding the percent of a number, you're multiplying that percent with something. So percents get multiplied um, with sort of their of, whatever their of. Um, so that 40% is based on the original price. So that's what it's of. 40% of the original price is what gets taken off. So it's going to be multiplied by that original price. In percent, sometimes you see this as part equals the percent times the base, okay? Or the total, so part equals the percent times the total, or part equals the percent times the original. So that percent gets multiplied by something. Whatever it's being multiplied by, it's gonna give you that part that's being subtracted or the part that's being added um, or the part that's your answer, right? If you're just looking for the discount, for instance. So keep in mind that your percent should go with something. And they're typically with the original values. So my original price, I don't know it. That's gonna just be X. We don't leave percents in percent form for calculations, you would either use the fraction or the decimal. If you're using the decimal form, all you're doing is dividing this by 100. So we're gonna use 0 0.40 instead or 0 0.4. And it's being multiplied by the original price. Now, if there's no number out front, there is a one there. So using two decimal places, this is 1.00. So when I subtract here, I get 0.60x. This makes sense because if we're taking 40% away from 100%, we have 60% left, right? So that's that 60% right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and divide both sides by 0.60. We're gonna use our calculator here. And what you get is 463. So the original price was $460. This also makes sense, right? The original price should be bigger than the discounted price. 40% um, is not quite half, but it's almost half, right? So this looks like a pretty good comparison, 460 to 276, right? It's not quite cut in half, but it's almost there. Um, so this looks right. We look like we're on the right track here. So you do wanna be careful with your percent problems. So for a decreased problem like this, you're setting it up something like this. Um, if you had an increased problem, then you'd have your original value plus your percent times the original is equal to the new. Okay, and then for your decrease problems, you have your original minus the percent times the original gives you that new value. So remember that percent is always going with something. It's going with the original value typically or if you're just finding the part, so if I just wanted to know, you know, the discount or something like that, um, you may not have to add or subtract, but that percent is getting multiplied by the original value, by that total, by the whole, whatever that is. 